What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Week. In this episode, trade's done. Lockie Schultz is a magpie. Let's get into it. So before we do jump straight into it, a little bit of update on uh, videos and stuff. I've got an awesome video coming out about uh, reacting to uh, flagpie tattoos. Uh, I've got a couple more videos coming out off season, so I'm taking it a little bit slower than, than I usually would. But um, don't stress, there's going to be lots of content uh, coming out soon. And hopefully when the players get back, I can maybe snag a player or two for some player interviews. But until then, let's just get straight into this uh, video about Lockie Schultz. <laughs> So, the trade got done today. Lockie Schultz, Fremantle forward, is now a magpie, which is great. Like, two-time Glenn, uh, I always forget this name, and so I'm not, Glenn Allendenning, um, I don't have my notes in front of me, but he's a two-time Glenn Allendenning uh, Derby medalist, um, two times running as well, that's for last year and this year. Has kicked two bags of 30 goals this year and last year as well. He's... Uh, leading or he's second in Fremantle's uh, goal scoring for this season, uh, just a couple of behind Jai and Miss. So he is an important cog in, in Fremantle's forward line, and now he's going to be an important cog into our forward line. So how, do, how did this deal get done? So there was a lot of toing and froing. Were we going to give them our current pick 19, or was it going to be just a future round pick next year? So what we've done is we've got Lockie Shields in. We've given them pick 34 this year, currently pick 34 this year, um, and our first round pick next year, which, you know, it, if you know how the, those sort of future first round sort of picks work, it's where you finish on the ladder. So Fremantle will probably go into want us to finish bottom eight so they can get a really good pick, which, you know, I, I don't think we're going to, definitely. Um, if we finish top four, even if we don't win the premiership, but if let's say we win the premiership, that pick will be pick 18. Um, if we finish top four, it's between um, uh, between 14 and, and 18 because it's top four, right? Uh, is Lockie Schultz worth that much? I think Fremantle played hardball. Uh, we could have got him for free next year, but while we're... You know, you strike while the iron's hot, and he just adds a lot of, of um, not even depth. He, he's a straight-in, walk-up, best 22 player. How does this look going forward for our forward line? Now, he's, like in the other previous video that I talked about, he is the same um, height, weight, uh, characteristics characteristics as um, Jamie Elliott. So you would think he's a like-for-like -like replacement of um, Jamie Elliott. But I think we're going to use him in Taylor Adams' role on the half-forward line. He is a good um, chase-down uh, forward, good for the defense. Uh, he's quick, he's agile, he's energetic. So if you combine, so if you put him straight into the half-forward line, he can kick some really good. That way, you've got Bo McCurry who can chase down and tackle. You've got Lockie Schultz who can do that as well. Jamie Elliott, Bobby Hill, Jack Ginevan. I don't think they all play in the same team. Um, but just having that... That forward line like that and that defensive-minded forward line when they can kick goals as well. I know Bo McCurry isn't a big um, goal scorer, but maybe he looks at, you know, moving into the middle a little bit with our aging sort of midfield. So I think the Lockie Shields acquisition, even though it cost us pick 34, I'm not really fussed about, but even though it cost us that first round pick um, next year, I think that it's... Um, I think that is a really, really good business. And you add Lockie Shields and you add Dan McStay into that forward line... Oh, man. Opposition defenders are already sweating. Like, I can't stop smiling because it is going to be an insane... It's just going to be an insane forward line. Now, I haven't really thought about what the forward line would look like, but it probably looks something like Brody Majacek, Jamie Elliott, Dan McStay, Bobby Hill, Lockie Schultz, Bo McCreary. Um, and does Jack Ginevan, maybe he's he's a sub-player... Um, you know, he does have to go back and do a lot of work to kind of make his way back into that team. But um, he's definitely there. And, and you, you always need depth, you know, wherever you sort of are. So I think Jack Niven is really good depth. He puts the sort of pressure on Lucky Shields, puts the pressure on Bobby Hill, um, maybe puts the pressure on Jamie Elliott. But we've got to think that Jamie Elliott is 31 or he's turning 31, um, definitely early 30s. So he's only got, a, you know, two, three more years left. So Lockie Schultz is, I think he's 25 or 26. So a young forward who's got another X amount of years left in him. Uh, and then he'll slot perfectly into that sort of Jamie Elliott role when when the inevitable happens and, and Jamie Elliott does retire. But that's not for years and years and years. 
all in all, I give this trade, I give it an A. I give it an A, a grading of A, the trade grenade, a grading of A, um, just because of that future first round pick. I know we will be bidding for Luke Quaynor next year, uh, who's in the um, the Next Gen Academy, obviously Quaynor's brother, half back. So I don't think that first round pick we were gonna probably use anyway would have just been for points maybe. So we'll see sort of how that plays out this time next year. But for now, I give this an A. Lockie Schultz is exciting. Um, I, I, I've been watching his highlights ever since he's been rumored to come to us. Uh, and there were talks that he wanted to come to us. Uh, and he's just going to add so much to this Collingwood forward line. Back to back. We're, we're gearing up for back for back to back. And, and why wouldn't you? Um, Again, like I said, strike while the iron is hot. But anyway, guys, just a really quick video update. There's not really much else to talk about uh, trade-wise besides, you know, Lockie Shields coming to the pies. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your best, and until next time, double shaggers. I'll see you later.